Ever wanted to mirror your iPhone screen on your Mac? It's easy. Let me show you how. Hi, Dave Taylor here, and I wanted to show you this super easy trick. So, iPhone, this is actually an iPhone 7 Macintosh system. You could use a big iMac with a big screen. You can use a more modest laptop. And then the only other piece you need to be able to mirror what's on your iPhone or iPad onto your Macintosh is a cable. And you probably already have this cable. So for me, it's a lightning cable that connects via USB-C to my Macintosh. And it's all hooked up and ta-da! Nothing happens. The reason nothing happens is because I need to launch a program. Now before I do this, or maybe while I'm doing this, let me just tell you that one of the reasons you might want to actually mirror things is because it can make it really great for you to give demos and show off what you're doing. If you want to show grandma how to use Facebook Messenger, if you have a startup and you want to show people your cool new app, all of that works great. So I'm going to go ahead and launch QuickTime Player and let's see, it's actually already running. That makes it easy, or it was. Let's see, QuickTime Player. And I don't have an existing video to open, so I just go into File, New Movie Recording, and sometimes it just goes straight to your phone when you have it plugged in. Other times you'll have to select it. Let's see what it does this time. So. It goes great. So it's on my computer. You can see I'm here. It's sort of this inception-y sort of thing going on. <laughs> and what I want to do is in this little window in the middle, choose my phone. Notice you have multiple cameras, one of which is actually your iOS device. Sweet. I'm going to switch to that and watch what happens. There you go. So now you can see my phone is being mirrored on my computer. Now, let's go full screen to give this a little bit more drama. So now you can see what's going on, and if I want to go and check out the Chipotle app, I can just look at my phone and ignore that this is going on. And we'll find local restaurants, all this sort of stuff. Really nice, really simple. Now, notice I'm not actually recording anything. I can if I want to, but I'm not. What I also want to show you is that this gets even more cool when you have a program that is actually horizontally oriented. So now notice here with my cribbage game, if I go here, that's really a clean display. Very nice, very simple. When you're done, I have it in full screen, so I press escape to get back to the regular screen, and then I just quit QuickTime. Or, of course, I can just unplug my device and QuickTime theoretically should switch back to its internal camera, but it looks like it just sits and it's stuck. That's okay. Either way, works really well. And this is such a savings, such a great thing to be able to do when you want to show off something on your phone or your tablet. So, again, what do you need? You need a cable that lets you plug in your iOS device to your Macintosh, and you need to run QuickTime Player, and then go into New Movie, and in New Movie, choose your iOS device, your iPhone, your tablet, choose that as your camera, and then you get it all working. If you want to record, push the record button, and you can record half an hour of you doing something on your phone, or whatever you want to watch. You don't want to record? Just let it sit and be in preview mode, and as you saw, it works great. This is Dave Taylor, I hope that was a handy tip. And as you're leaving my video, go ahead and click that subscribe button so we can stay connected. And I will catch you in my next video.